hi guys it's Hani here welcome to my youtube channel i'm back with another cookie decorating tutorial today we're going to make spider-man cookies i'm going to show you how to make three different designs starting with a spider balloon i'm piping on a piece of acetate sheet underneath there i have my paper template and i am using piping consistency black royal icing to outline we're gonna outline all the legs and then we're going to use icing that is slightly more fluid about 20 second consistency or so and we're going to fill all the sections then you're gonna have to set this aside and let it dry overnight If you don't have acetate sheet, you can also use parchment or wax paper, but I find uh, that I get the best results if I use the acetate sheet because the plastic doesn't really wrinkle, it's not affected by the moisture of the royal icing. Once it dries, you can peel off the backing. Be careful so the royal icing transfer doesn't break and now we can decorate the cookies. To ice the cookie I am using 15 second consistency royal icing and I colored my royal icing with royal blue food coloring. When working with royal icing transfers you can do two applications. You can do either dry royal icing transfer on wet base, that's what I'm gonna do, or you can do dry on dry. In this case because my royal icing transfer is black I'm just gonna do um, dry on wet application if it was white i would have to wait and uh, add it after my royal icing dries because the blue would otherwise seep through the white all right and we're gonna let that crust and then you can add the bottom and your first cookie is finished super easy second design is a very traditional spider-man to make this cookie i used an egg shaped cookie cutter and I used my paper template and edible marker to draw the outlines for the eyes and then using white real icing about 20 second consistency you want to outline and flood the eyes and then we're gonna let them crust All right, now using 15 second consistency red royal icing, we're going to outline and flood the whole cookie. To make the spider web, we're going to do wet on the wet on wet technique. For this, you can either use 15 second consistency royal icing, but because I didn't want my lines to spread too much, I am using icing that is about 20 second consistency. Start with a line in the center, and then you can make the straight lines across.
I'm going to let this crust and then we're going to outline the eyes with black royal icing. For this you can use piping consistency or you can also use that 20 second consistency we used for the spider web. Alright, so the third design is also very simple and we're going to make royal icing transfer number four. These cookies were made for birthday party, a little boy turning four, so I thought it would be cute to include that number on a cupcake. And I forgot to say, um, all of the cutters used in this tutorial are from the Sweet Sugar Bell. Egg is from uh, her... Um, I don't know if, it, if it's an Easter set, but there was an egg cutter and um, the balloon and uh, cupcake, I believe they are from the birthday set. All right, so starting with a liner using red royal icing and then we're gonna make the spider web same technique like before but I'm starting on the side not in the center and then I'm going to let it crust and after the bottom liner part is crusted we're gonna add blue using 15 second consistency and just like with the balloon cookie while the blue is still wet we're going to add number four Now you can peel off number four realizing transfer from the acetate sheet and then very carefully place it on the cookie and then gently press it down so it sticks to the icing. And then you're gonna have to let all the cookies dry. And here are the finished cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I think these Spider-Man cookies turned out really cute. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to share this video with your friends and don't forget to give it thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.